and I'm gonna tell you exactly why in this video that when you start your clinical years of med school, why everyone should have a tablet. Hi everyone, if you're new here to the channel, my name is Ovi, I'm a third year medical student, and welcome to Ovi Med. Okay, okay, I know what you're gonna say. Oh, but Ovi, you just did a video like a few months ago about how you should never buy a tablet. Well, I never said never, but you know why you shouldn't buy a tablet, it's useless in med school. Um, it was for your preclinical years. So now you might ask, well, Ovi, what changed? Well, what changed is that now you don't have as many lectures anymore, you're not really going to class that much anymore, and you're always in the hospitals every single day or almost every single day. And there's a lot of downtime. There's a lot of periods of time where you just have not that much to do. You can do Anki's all you want, but sometimes you want to do like something else, something a bit more. You can't really bring your computer in with you at the hospital. I mean, you can, but then it's going to be in your locker. It's going to be like at the other end of the hospital. You're going to have to run back. You want to have time. If you only have like, you know, like a 20, 30 minute downtime break or something, you want to have time to like go all the way to your locker and then come back. You want to have time. So what is the solution? The solution would be one of these, one of these little tablet thingies. Um, so this is a Samsung Tablet S6 Lite. Um, that's the name of the model. And I'm gonna tell you exactly why in this video that when you start your clinical years of med school, why everyone should have a tablet. All right, so now quick disclaimer. When I'm talking about the tablet here, I'm not talking about like the biggest, nicest iPad Pro that you can buy at like $1,500 or like $2,000 or something. I'm talking about a cheap, usable, lightweight tablet that you can carry in your scrubs or something. Like it's, a, it's not that big, right? Like it's the size of my hand. Uh, fair enough, I have big hands, but like whatever. Here, if you can compare that to my phone, it's not the biggest tablet in the world. Um, so yeah, small one, that's light, that's cheap, that you can use for a while. And of course, well, I would go with something maybe on the lower range of like, in terms of like power, specs, um, storage, and whatever you might want on it, because it's gonna be a tool for school. It's gonna be a work tool you're gonna be using at the hospital. It's not gonna be a tool for you to like draw silly things or watch Netflix. I mean, you can, uh, and I do when I'm eating lunch. That's not why you're buying it. You're buying it for its use. So I'm gonna get right into that. So in this video, I'm gonna go into three different things or three main points as to why you need to have a tablet. So the first point being, well, why do you need a tablet? The second point is gonna be, and then my third point is gonna be the appearance that you give off and that might not be what you expect. So stick around until the end to see what I'm talking about for the appearance. All right, so let's get right into it. Why do you need a tablet? So like I told you in the intro of this video, you need a tablet because you have a lot of downtime. And like, yeah, your phone might be fine for doing Anki cards, but at some point you get sort of tired of doing it and you might wanna have something a bit bigger, something you can split the, cre the, cre the screen in half, that you can have like, you know, some videos on one side and then on the other side have like your notes or something like that. I think that's an extremely useful resource to have, a very efficient use of your time. I think that's the main thing here, being efficient in your downtime. You know, if you've done surgery, you're always gonna have downtimes when they're putting the patient asleep. You don't, you don't have infinite patients to round on. You don't have infinite things to do. Like you're gonna have some downtime waiting for patients to transfer and things like that. And having a tablet, I think is like a good investment for your own time to study for your board's exam, for your step two or whatever you're studying for. I think it's a very good thing to have more so than your phone, just because you can do more things without having the burden of having your like computer with you. Now, moving on to my other point, you're gonna be more organized. So what do I mean by being more organized? So when you go and take a history on a patient, uh, I've, seen, I've seen some of my colleagues doing it on their phones. I've done it on my phone in the past. Uh, most of my colleagues ha are just doing it like on a pen and like on a pad and just taking notes. But what you can do is you can do it on your tablet as well. So if you just take out this, a pen right here, and then you can just talk away the patient, take your notes, blah, blah, and then afterwards you can just delete it and blah, it's gone. So you can do that. Um, it's more like, 
you're not gonna have like plenty of like loose sheets like laying around they afterwards have to deal with like oh no no i have to throw it away in like the confidential bin no i want not it's like the other end of the hospital what am i going to do with all these loose papers and loose sheets like you can just have it right there on your tablet and like one folder you know patient histories blah blah of course don't take any like um identifying information just like you know journal gist of things as you would on a piece of paper because you're not supposed to like carry patient information outside of the hospital right Remember that, delete everything before you leave in the hospital. Um, so yeah, it's just gonna be more organized. So you can just take your notes there, you can erase, you can select something, move it around at another place. Um, you can find some pictures online and add a picture of something. You can add, I don't know, like the patient's x-ray or something. It's gonna look like better, it's gonna be more organized. Um, yeah, I think it's just, it just makes it for a nicer and easier experience to take a history if you're not like at that stage where you can just remember everything, at least I know I'm not. Um, there's just so many informations that I cannot remember everything because um, yeah, I've just started and I'm in my third year, right? So yeah, it's just gonna be more organized. And now moving to the last point, which I know you've been waiting for, the appearance. Now, I'm not talking about the appearance of like, you know, these bougie, um, not gonna say any identifiers of who's like that, but you probably know someone who I'm gonna be describing. So they're there with their iPad, looking all, you know, fancy and bougie, with their uh, iPad pen, whatever, and, like writing around and like, oh, look at my notes, they're so much nicer than yours, like, oh, look at my iPad, and always mentioning their iPads, blah, blah. No, I'm not talking about that, because honestly, who gives a F about that kind of appearance? What I'm talking about is appearance from the staff. How do the staff see you? Let me give you an example. So, give you two options, okay? Option A and option B. Option A is gonna be OV on his phone. So right here, you see OV who's on his phone, who's looking at, you know, how to treat exacerbations of heart failure. He's currently using PubMed and he's searching vigorously on how to treat edema secondary to heart failure. And then if we look at option B, right here, you have OV who's on his iPad, currently watching a YouTube video. Oh, look at that, what a nice video. So if you just take a step back, who looks more professional? Who looks like they're actually doing some more serious work? Is it the person in A who looks like they're texting? Or is it the person in B who looks like they're actually working on a tablet being professional? right? So most of you would have probably said option B until I showed you the actual screens. But being on your tablet looks just so much better from the staff. Like some of the staff even told me, oh, it's so good that you have like your tablet. I, I always see people on their phones. I hate it. I tell them to like, you know, turn it off. Even if you're doing something important, even, even if you're actually looking stuff up, right? So just that like appearance side of things, I think having a tablet is really important. It just looks, um, yeah, it just looks better. You look more serious. Even if you're just watching some random YouTube videos, you're still gonna look better than if you were on your phone actually doing something helpful. Now, I don't condone watching YouTube videos. Like, don't don't buy an iPad just so you can watch YouTube videos wearing in surgery or something. Of course, that's what I'm saying. I'm just saying that if you're both like sitting, looking stuff up, the one on the tablet is gonna look better. That's all I'm saying. All right, so with all that being said, now you know why I think that having a tablet is a must starting your rotations in med school. My old video was only about the preclinical years of med school. So yeah, how to turn half tables, right? But not for the reasons you might think. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a DM. If you haven't watched my previous videos, I'm gonna link them right here. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you got something out of it and see you in the next video.